Titan Crown, how and I deal with it, they have on written this. So, welcome back to our channel. Okay, guys, first let us talk about Sound Soul Tan. Now, remember in the previous video, we reported that Sound Soul Tan has throat cancer. Well, that is untrue. And to think that I saw this on Sahara Reporters still baffles me, right? Because Baba D, the elder brother, came out to say, truly, this guy is sick and is in. United States of America receiving treatment, but it has nothing to do with cancer. So where did Sahara reporters, where did they get the news about him having a throat cancer? And this thing trends for like five to ten hours, you know, on Twitter. Everybody talking about it, you know, wishing him um, quick recovery, blah, 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 and all that. But guys, I just quickly want to you know, draw your attention to that. It's actually some of my subscribers that told me about this, that I should check out the news that Baba D has reacted to it and is not true that he's got throat cancer and again Samsutan himself shortly passed the message to us that that's untrue um by the way to my Muslim brothers um I hope you guys are enjoying the holidays I don't know what they are celebrating because I'm not Muslim but I know it is it El Mubaraka I think I, I pray you know Allah receives your prayers and or accepts you know your fasting is that right I, I don't know but yeah it's from the bottom of my heart and the, the intention is what matters okay <laughs> don't mind me okay guys moving on to the next one here we have Yomi Fabi and of course when you mention Yomi Fabi what's the next name that comes to your mind just 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 guess well Yabo Ujo um, <laughs> recall that Yabo Ujo filed a lawsuit against him seeking 100 million naira I reported that here on the channel yesterday um, she's seeking 100 million naira in damages for a post he made claiming that she promised to kill Babai Jesha if he's released on bail. To show that he's unshaken, he said that he has evidence that, you know, that Yabo Ujo admitted to cyberbullying him using their chat on WhatsApp as evidence. He added that he's making a great effort to restrain himself from hitting Yabo. He also said that if he catches her, she will see craze and I'm, I'm just thinking what do you mean like he, you you're making great efforts to restrain yourself from hitting yabojo whatever now guys this must be the longest battle i've ever seen on social media and again i don't want these guys to make this subject about themselves like because it's gradually leaning towards that direction if you paid attention now yabo in response to that shares the full whatsapp chat which shows Yomi telling her about um, how much he respects her, blah, blah, blah. And he said he will be the last one to come for her. He continued by saying that, uh, you know, uh, it was hot um, that she called him out and made it seem like he was supporting Babai Jesha's action, um, which he denied. He said is untrue, but he's fighting for um, justice, for what is right. So, guys, let me know. What do you think? about that i think personally that this is becoming a fight between yomi fabi and yabo ojo and the attention is gradually drifting away from the main subject or from the main reason why this whole thing started in the first place what do you think about this let me know in the comment section below and by the way guys the court says this we will keep Baba Isha till court workers resume from strike. That's according to the Lagos State Police Commissioner. That's the message they passed to Yomi after the protest, you know, or during the protest. Well, there you have it about that. Like I said before, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Now, guys, look at this picture. I just want to show you guys, right? When I saw the, this picture, I'm not going to lie. First time I saw this picture, without looking at the description, or looking at the caption i was like oh this girl's beautiful like you know normal like oh this girl's beautiful but guys don't make that mistake oh. don't make that mistake oh. if you are a guy i, I was kind of shocked like okay a cross dresser j boogie a cross dresser so this guy is actually is a guy is a, a dude but look at the first thing even in fact when you see someone like this on the street 
first thing that comes to your mind is wow but it's actually a dude well guys i just quickly want to chip that in moving on to the next one david Doe's daughter imade signs an endorsement deal with eva baby soap guys being the daughter of a celebrity alone could get you an endorsement deal <laughs> choma as well right choma was dating davido she got endorsement deals right i think she got like two or three endorsement deals after choma my love after the song came out like you know choma became a big fish and now the daughter just secured a deal that that, that just reminds me of choma because choma is still enjoying the the endorsement deals till today and probably the son you know in the nearest future as well choma's son but guys choma actually liked the picture after the you know mercy ak posted the picture on her page choma actually liked the picture you know just to show support like even though it's davido's first daughter i'm cool you know yeah choma seemed to have a good heart i don't know how personally i'm just saying like she seemed to have that that nice good heart I don't know this is just me looking from afar <laughs> might be a different person in real life okay here we have williams uchemba williams uchemba says that the wife sneaks out of the room in the middle of the night to do what guess to pray for him <laughs> find yourself a wife like williams uchembas okay here he says you don't know this but i've seen you severally sneaking out of the room in the mid in the midnight and early mornings to go and pray for me and my project i know how you've always made sure peace and order is maintained among our help and staff at home to make sure there is a conducive atmosphere for me to work better and effectively i'm shocked at the level of impact you have made in my life in just a few months of being married to you ah oh, that oh my god i go love you okay guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section below moving on to the next one here we have this the opposite <laughs> Here we have not really the opposite because she, this sex therapist um, Angela also said her husband is our god, and she even rated him higher than the the real supernatural god. Okay, she says that if heaven is where Pastor Deboe David Oyedepo will go after death, I don't want to make heaven. Not me. I want to make heaven though because I'm Christian. <laughs> <laughs> she said she doesn't want to make heaven. Let us read her post. Okay, she posted this on Facebook because she's quite popular on Facebook. Okay, she said here, I don't want to make heaven if heaven is where Pastor Adibui Kumui, David Oyedebo, and all other religious leaders and people will go to after death. Then I reject it with every fiber of my being. Heaven will sure be a very boring and unbearable place to be in, full of fake people and extortionists and heartless people. I want to be where Fela is and would be happy to see Davido Whiskey Techno ETC join me there. The thing about me is I don't ever want to be like you. You don't believe that you can live the way that I do. Seriously, you act like life is a reciter from the Bible and once you reach the end, you won't know where the time goes. I'm living through my flows, so please enjoy the show. No Jesus above tells me how to live my life. I do this for me. I'm not ashamed. I do not hide. I already have a God that turns me on. He's the God that I see and believe in, and his name is Emeka. That's the husband. Whoa. Okay, guys. Um, in a situation like this, I, I usually don't say anything because I, I believe everybody has the right to practice whatever religion they want to practice or believe in anything they want to believe in. It is their own, it is what they have faith in. But guys, let me know what you think about that in the comment section below, okay? Moving on to the next news. Here, we have fake EFCC operatives. They were nabbed, okay? Why trying to extort a Lagos State resident? And they came with a MOPO, a mobile police, armed police. Thank God they were caught. They were later handed over to the real, real 
EFCC and EFCC even released a statement after that but here it's an eyewitness who says almost today is wild we caught two men that came into our estate claiming to be EFCC officials with fake EFCC IDs and accompanied with Mopo trying to extort money from a resident. One of the fake officers tried escaping by jumping from a four-story building but fell into the electric fence. So what happened after he fell into the electric fence? We need full story. Don't give us half news. Eh? Understand that we have people who need to report this to subscribers. Give us full details. And he continued, the mobile police officer with a rifle escaped. He actually escaped. Man, now God save him. And I'm sure they promised him some amount of money. Like, you know, we're going to pay you. I mean, the government pay you 60 something thousand or maybe 20 something thousand. You know, we're going to give you 200,000 or so, 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 so percentage out of the deal. Then they jump on it. <laughs> Come here, come here, shout. This one, I say, I put out for good. No, no, you need to carry them up there. Yes, yes, yes. 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 You know what it is? Now, now, at the back now. This one dropped from a, a yes. Yes. Back to, This one for land, sir. So this one dropped also. So this one dropped. This one dropped. This one for land. No, 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 no. Where the, where Mopo? Where the Mopo? Where Mopo? Don't, don't, don't be there. Just to judge these people. Okay. Give me something. I'll speak to that. So look at look at the whole fake thing here, man. EFCC says here, fake EFCC operatives caught in illegal operations in Lagos. Commission warns Nigerians against imposters. A gang of three fake operatives of the economic and financial that EFCC will embark on an illegal operation purportedly to execute a fake court order have been arrested in Lagos. Um, Gali Ahmed, as the head of EFCC zona office in lagos disclosed this today may 13th at a press briefing in the commission's office ekoyi there you have it still on crimes here abia state university student arrested for faking his own kidnap let's read this the abia state university uh, uh, security department has arrested a 200 level political science student um, identified as Judge Unamdi for faking his own kidnap. Unamdi had confessed after his, after his arrest that he sent a text message to one of his friends around 3 a.m. on Thursday that he was kidnapped by six men carrying AK-47 rifles along, alongside other three students to prank his friend. Another friend of the suspect, a 300-level mass communication student, Faith Godson, added that she received a text message from Unamdi that he had been kidnapped and immediately alerted the university security, which swung into action and arrested Unamdi, who was hiding in his lodge that is off the university. Confirming the incident, um, Tango uh, said that uh, they received distress call that a student has been kidnapped and swung into action, only to discover that George Unamdi faked his own kidnap. He added that they had made their finding known to the university senate to take appropriate action against the supposed victim in line with the rules and regulations guiding the university the guy is a fool to prank your friends this guy did that for fun 
that he's been kidnapped. What do you expect them to do? In fact, they call the security. Some people will call the police. Some people they will call the army. They will call your parents. Give them heart attack. What is what is the the, the whole thing? The, that child must be the dumbest kid I've ever seen on earth. Okay, guys, moving on to the next one, guys. Let, let's just watch this for fun. You know, let's just have fun with this video. Look at this. This is somewhere in Nigeria. Hey. Right now. Kai, Kai, Kai. Might be Ghana, though. You know, but it said in Nigeria. The caption said it's in Nigeria. But wow, it actually fell. <laughs> ah, God Almighty. <laughs> Overload. As big as this is. Kai. You still have overload on top of it. Gosh, I hope the driver is safe though. Okay, here we have a man who threatens his TikTok followers. A man, a full fledged, a full grown man who threatens his TikTok followers for not watching his video. His videos, his, in fact, multiple videos. <laughs> I don't get it. A man like you should leave this for your kids, you know, for your the, the younger ones. And it's okay because, you know, there's no limits to these things these days when it comes to social media. But should you be pissed that young people don't want to watch you? Like, and he, he was totally angry. Who sent you, Mr. Man? Let's watch this video. Ah, TikTok. I'm in Ipa 870, no? Say so move half your China for me, Hungary for Kra. Say so move half. I mean, at least they move 400 year Ghana for. I didn't see that moon 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 show me video. Po. I post to six videos now, sign one view. Me and sign one view. The other three, yeah, zero view. Why? And I'll be a committee in saying, yes, I'm show me videos. And I'm not looking for your likes, but at least there's you. Otherwise, me here, maybe me me delete you now. What are you trying? We delete you, be a. Let me share my videos. I like you, like my videos. More no more fish, more on TV. Yes, I'm more share my video on board. What do you mean? And I just I just say me trust. See, the change now. What I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm 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 sharing my video. No, I'm doing things there. You should look. Okay, that is it. This is that man is Ghanaian, by the way. Okay, speaking about situation in Nigeria, here we have Walter Anger, the actor. He says, a sachet of pure water is now 20 naira. What is left for a common man when he can't afford to buy 2k units for electricity in a month? Talk less of him paying his house rent, 150k annually, and minimum wage is 30k. Time they come when the poor will feed from the rich by fire, by force. It's already happening. Sad, but it's already happening. The poor are already feeding from the rich, um, you know, by fire, by force. Some of them are becoming criminals. Um, some of them are become kidnappers. And that's the state we are in right now, the current state of the country, which is, which is quite sad and scary, you know, sometimes, you know. I just can't wait for 2023. I just, I just can't wait. I just can't wait, guys. And I'm not even kidding. You know, maybe a change of government, like president, will help. I don't know, but I'm being hopeful. At least better. At least better than this current state. That's just, at least be, might not be perfect. I don't. We don't need perfection. Maybe at least better. You know, take some people out of the streets. Moving on to the next news. Here we have Renault Mercury. You know, Sahara Reporters says here, yeah, Nigerian government shows great concern about Israel-Palestine crisis. And Renault Mercury replied that Israel is the 40th most insecure nation on earth. Nigeria is the third most insecure country according to the Global Terror Index. Yet, Nigeria today tasked Israel to work for peace. It is like Tinumbu giving out dental hygiene advice. <laughs> Buari, have some self-respect. <laughs> okay. Guys. Well, that is it. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Comment time, blessing time. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have Bosse Osawaru saying, um, Thanks, my dear, for the information. Thank you. May God Almighty heal him. I, th I think he's talking about Sound Sultan. 
um sylvester says keep doing what you know how to do best bro thank you so much let me have this okay michael ob said good job bro funke atinuke says what is happening in nigeria another story again they are just playing us faith azubike says yes for the question of the day kelly says hello mexican crown you didn't read my comments on your last video i'm reading it now <laughs> chunky yannick said also start reporting news from cameroon you have some cameroonian fans here yes i do sometimes you just don't notice ik said thank you for giving us back to back well thanks for watching henry says what i understand on that question poor people are not educated on the level of treating humans that's the, the question of the day in the previous video right poor people are not educated on the level of treating humans in an equal right way and sometimes i feel maybe they think being a rich person has to make you wicked the guy is 89.9 percent right i'm also from poor family but i don't live with my people and that made me learn a lot from you know from other places well um it continued here you self anytime i comment you know go read why now yeah, you well now i'm reading your comment okay um for some reason i think some people are in support for this man yomi or something but couldn't come out will not be surprised if she gets underground support or if he gets underground support destiny says um it it mumbarak to all muslim brothers and sisters in the house ayobami says oh my gosh i'm late you're not late i see you rose says good job keep it up thank you so much paul Mwa konobi says great job um bro i love your videos thank you now rose says here again it's not all about coming from a poor background it's about being educated my family is poor and my husband is rich but today i made him richer you know education matters because i have my own company business house and car with my own money and when he knows about it he you know, is happy but i'm from a poor family okay francis says you are super good i don't miss your video at all keep it up thank you so much let me have this thank you so much um francis says i agree with that guy okay richard juan says i love the way you present your report and also love the way you read fluent kudos bro thank you so much richard i appreciate that let me have this thank you um bright wheezy says 1000 percent entertainment kudos boss i shout out to you my boss too lucky says nice one brother man from holland amsterdam thank you so much i see you holy benji said bro i salute you nice job thank you if he said sound so tan you are healed in jesus name amen even though it's not throat cancer but the prayer is still needed ostra says uh, uh okay bonnie man says i don't believe that everybody has his or her luck when it comes to marriage marriage is like picking a ball from a jar and it depends on your luck to pick a good one Unkechi glad says yes some girls from poor homes do misbehave eg they want to live above their means and you can see the handwriting written on their character that they are from poor background when they are opportune to marry someone who is wealthy kinsley says yabojo should go and sleep lisa said your video they always give me joy good one and god is your strength thank you so much the question of the day i too i too go agree like you agree with that that's what you're saying lobby ima says sounds sort of border babadi thank you for the information um ima uh, babadi has debunked rumors of his brother being diagnosed with throat cancer he said he's ill and receiving treatment in new york but not for throat cancer it's according to reports today as for the answer to the question of the day this is so true except in few cases but the majority of people from poor very poor background are so opportunistic quote unquote lack basic home training insultive with foolish pride and on top locality plus timidity and their parents are like scavengers and wealth suckers even if you have such as friends you need strength intelligence wisdom and grace to deal with them talking from experience wow victor says nice job boy i see you victor richie cole said efcc boss now scam too all of them now scam 
Adeniji David said, under a million naira under my foot, Yabo Ojo cannot succeed in that case, period. Eka said, that Victoria post was meant for Etino, sir. Chris Ada said, Bo, you too much um, take this job. Thank you so much for the heart emoji. As for the question of the day, I agree 40% and 60% disagree. AJK John says, I don't support the cliche that poor women lack proper upbringing. We have both poor and rich folks with nasty characters. It's a personal thing and has nothing to do with wealth. Ovia Day says, bro, good job. I'm loving your vlog. Thank you so much. Oluwa Kemi says, Yomi, your own don't catch you. Wow, wow, all right. Kemi Bolarinra said, hi, why are you misleading the public? Um, the man is not supporting Baba Jesha, but protesting that, that human rights must be respected by granting him bail. Even the police said um, his offense is bailable. He has not been convicted yet. He's allowed to be presumed innocent until proven guilty. His continued detention is against his human rights. Nobody ever supports rape or child molestation. Please stop manipulating and misleading the public with your blog. There's no way I'm misleading anything. So calm down. I'm reporting the news. And if it seems like I'm supporting anybody, you know, it's my own opinion. If you think like that, yeah. But I get what you're saying. And thank you for commenting, okay? Um, Akindele says, Olade Indi. Abraham, please read my comments too now. I see you, Akindele. Bobby Brown said, if you are not from the same socio-economic class in Nigeria, you most likely have next to nothing in common. This goes both ways for men and women. So that um, that guy should understand it's not about the gender, but socio-economic class. A rich woman marrying a poor man will also experience the same thing probably even worse because you also have to deal with the in-laws who are of the same mentality same john said good job bro okay question of the day i agree but most of them when they marry to a rich man they change this sense he says yabo and yomi is disgusting let them go and settle their differences where it began from let them stop disturbing us i beg okay guys that's where i'm going to hold that's a lot guys thank you so much you stayed up to this point and you're yet to like please like but we still have question of the day okay to this question here is someone who needs help with your answer okay if you had 70k salary job and a car and someone offers to pay you 70k monthly for using your car for online taxi while you go about your salary job with public transport would you accept the offer he said here please i need your honest replies so guys leave your answers in the comment section below thank you so much for watching like this video subscribe and make it public so i can see it right and yeah i'm gonna quickly video comment immediately i see it. i feel excited when i see that red beside your name by the way thank you so much uh, once again until we see you next time peace